April 13, 2009, the Stoughton Black Knights baseball team takes on Mansfield. On the mound for the Black Knights was Trevin DeRocha, making his first start of the season after battling early season elbow tendonitis. Mansfield got on the board early. is a single just out of the reach of the shortstop plate to run here. And with the runners on first and third, no outs, Trevor picks off a runner at first, but the heads up Mansfield base runner on third, races home and scores easily. DeRosha fans the next two batters to avoid further damage on his way to a 12 strikeout performance. After a caught stealing in the night's half of the first inning, Kyle Connors here cuts the lead in half as he drills one deep into the right center field gap. Kyle Connors legs out his first career home run here as he just beats the throw to the plate. And this one's worth another look as we slow it down and watch Kyle smooth swing. And then the celebration at home. Brian McCriskey followed that up with a double down the right field line. But Mansfield pitcher Brian Safel shuts the door and the pitcher's duel was on. As Stoughton's Trevor DeRocha is seen here striking out back-to-back -back batters. The defense helped out both pitchers early on as well. As Stoughton's Kyle Connors proved that he's a multi-tool player here as he gets on his horse to haul one in in center field. Second baseman Pat Jordan gets into the act as he ranges over to foul grounds to make a nice catch on this pop-up. Both pitchers continue their mastery in the middle innings as Stoughton's DeRosha continue to pile up the strikeouts with two more here. Meanwhile, Mansfield's Brian Safel kept Stoughton hitters off balance. After scoring an unearned run in the fifth to take a 3-1 lead, DeRosha slams the door as he pulls the string here for another K as catcher Kevin Gilbert fires it to first. And second baseman Patrick Jordan then gobbles up a grounder here to end the inning. Stoughton closed the gap again in their half of the fifth as the 1-2-3 combo of DeRosha, Connors, and Anderson continue their early season up. Onslaught as DeRosha leads off here with a base hit to the shortstop right hole. Kyle Connors follows that up with a hit up the middle to put runners on first and second for Kyle Anderson. And Anderson promptly delivers as he smashes a single to center to plate DeRosha to cut the lead to three to two. Once again, the Mansfield pitcher tightened his belt and left Connors stranded at third. In the Mansfield sixth, a walk and a single put runners on second and third when the runner moved up to second on the throw with no outs. But Trevor DeRocha refused to be rattled as he strikes out the next three batters to end the threat. He did. He was standing there. Nice! Yeah! Nice. Go on, Charlie. Jim will tell you, sometimes it's tough to catch him. Oh, yeah. Nice job! Yeah! 11 K's. Students Charlie Green got something going in the bottom of the sixth with the leadoff single to center. But again, Mansfield's Brian Safel shut the door with his ninth strikeout, a ground out, and a pickoff to end the inning. Not to be outdone, Trevor DeRocha picks off his third run of the day here in the seventh inning. First baseman Dan Floro took the throw and fighter strike down to shortstop Matt Mullen for the out. After Mansfield scores an unearned run to take a 4-2 lead later in the inning, DeRocha records his 12th strikeout to end the seventh. 
Stoughton couldn't get anything going against Brian Safel as he sets the Black Knights down in order in the bottom of the seventh to clinch the complete game victory. But the Stoughton squad gained a lot of confidence from this hard-fought battle against a very talented Mansfield team.